Hi everybody, in today's video I just want to show you the difference between good body position and not so good body position. I've taken this little video of young Brett Hosking. Um, he's a very talented young left-handed batsman that I've been coaching. Um, I took this video off my cell phone, so excuse the low resolutions, but um, I just thought this is a very, very good example of what I want to show you. You'll see over the next two shots that he plays, um, I'll break it down for you and just show you the importance of getting your head into position and timing the ball and your head not being in position and obviously trying to force the ball. So let's just take a look at this first shot here. You'll see that he leads with his head first and because of that everything else follows. His foot lands in the right place, his elbow is nice and high and his hands come through the ball but more importantly his weight follows the ball to the target. Excellent shot. And then here in the second shot, as the ball comes, you'll see how his head drops down outside the line of the ball. Although his head is down and he's watching the ball nicely, his head is slightly outside the line. And because he's actually trying to force it, his back leg collapses and his back hip comes through a little bit quickly. And the result of that means it makes his elbow push out to mid-wicket. Although the bat is coming through quite straight, he's ended up hitting this ball inside out. And the result is the ball has spewed out to cover point instead of coming straight down the line to mid-on. There you can also see that his weight is in the center of his body and not over the ball heading towards the target. And that is only because his back leg is collapsed. So when you watch the, those two shots in full time, you'll be able to see the difference in his timing as well. His first shot looks really good and he doesn't try and hit the ball very hard. The second one, he tries to put a bit of extra effort in and his whole body position collapses. Okay, so um, what I'd like you guys to do at home, if you're throwing to your child or if you're watching them in the nets, just make sure that first of all, they're watching the ball 100%. Um, if you're not watching the ball, then you're hoping to hit the ball. Um, if they're focusing on the ball, get them then to lead with their heads. If they're leading with their heads, everything else should follow. And make sure that, they, that they're not trying to force the ball, that, they've, that they're just looking to time the ball with their weight going through the shot. And this will help them keep a nice stable base and the results should be 100%. Okay, so hopefully this helps you guys at home. Um, over the next couple of weeks, we'll be bringing you or be sending out a few simple drills that you can use. Um, and if you don't have a net, you'll see that these drills, you can do them in your house, on the lawn, anywhere. So, um, yeah, I look forward to chatting to you again.